as i shared yesterday natural gas has achieved 8.2 close to 8.2 dollar levels and in fact it has formed a double top and at the same time the us crude failed to sustain 104 plus levels i hope you all profited yesterday now what is going to happen today we are again going to look with the help of candlestick charts and indicators i am ankit and welcome to my channel do not forget to like share subscribe and comment and do not forget to press the bell icon i share my daily analysis on major global markets and commodities including gold silver oil natural gas and index including us 30 us 100 germany 40 ft 100 and india let's start the day with natural gas first now this is the two hour charts for ng and if you see the charts here you will find that it is trying to create this and probably it may try to come back till towards 7.68 7.7 dollar levels which is the next milestone and below that we might see it coming again towards 7.5 right now trading at around 7.78 let's see there is a strong support at around 7.7 7.68 zone if this zone is taken then only i recommend that probably we may see it going till towards 7.5 and in fact 7.3 levels also cannot be denied however look at this the stochastic on the two hour charts is extremely oversold and hence a bounce back cannot be denied but the macd has just crossed over it is wide divergent and a sell side probably it may continue into sell side for a little long as it was overbought here on the two hour charts as well and if you look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts similarly it is trying to come back this is the reversal sign reversal candle and probably this may try to come back till towards 7.7 7.58 and then towards 7.5 levels these levels are going to be important for ng for any further rise remember it is i'll show you something on the daily charts and then you will be in a better position to uh, correlate what i am expecting right now look at the 3 hour charts this is also trying to go oversold right now in a near to oversold zone and if you look at the macd it is trying to cross over for a sell one more red candle and it will cross over rsi was overbought here and if you look at the 4 hour charts similarly on the 4 hour charts this is a third red candle and this is almost trying to create symmetry however probably it may try to come back till towards 7.7 in this candle itself and then next candle will decide how it takes the shape we have seen a good rally so far in ng and yes the downside support at around 7.6 7.5 levels are going to remain a pretty strong support for ng for any further drop the stochastic looking downwards macd trying to converge and cross over rsi is, was also oversold now coming back to comfort zone now coming back to most important daily charts here now look at this on the daily candle you will realize that see it has formed the double top here precisely achieved the high of the channel again and look if you see on the long run what it is trying to create here is double top form and probably from here it may start the downtrend for a little while but i'll be still cautious as ng has still got some room for it to rise but today the data is uh, uh, awaited for us markets us uh, natural gas and crude oil data will be released soon today in the evening so i'll be cautious it may try to take any direction and now look at the daily candle here the fresh candle is yet to start however look at the previous candle see this is trying to form a reversal candle here and at the end of a bullish channel if such reversal candle is seen probably we may see a sharper drop and hence what on the daily charts i'll be watch out or i'll be cautious for 7.5 any move below 7.5 will be a very good indication that ng is reversing from here may try to go back till towards 7 dollar levels and below level so i'll be cautious however one can still try to initiate a short at around 7.68 for 7.6 7. uh 5 4 7.5 these three levels is going to remain important and below 7.5 one can remain short or ng for a little while one can expect it to drop till towards sharply towards 7.2 and below level so i will be cautious there so yes uh now to summarize it well but let's before have a look at the indicator see ng is overbought on the daily charts and here you can see the macd has just crossed over so i'll be cautious there and rsi is near to overbought levels to summarize it one can go short at 7.7 levels and then expect 7.58 uh, 
7.5 and below 7.5 we may see a sharper drop in ng which will try to take it towards 7.35 7.2 and 7.1 levels on the other side if you see ng trading above 7.92 on the other side if you see trading uh, ng trading above 7.92 go long again then the target is going to be same 8.02 8.2 and then beyond that we may see it rising strongly towards 8.4 level so i will be cautious here don't trade between 7.92 and 7.7 levels so this is all about engine now let's have a look at crude oil now look at crude on the two hour chart see it is trying to consolidate here in this zone 102 dollar levels definitely a very strong support for crude oil and any drop below 102 rather i will say this zone at 101.5 one can go short here else till the time it trades above 101.5 102 zone one can expect that it can try to reverse again and probably may achieve higher highs but i'll show you why it is not feasible and a rise may look bleak yes uh, uh, crude oil is awaiting a breakout where possibly today or let's see whether it happens today or not now look at the two hour charts it is comfortable stochastic MACD again wide divergent on sell RSI not showing any signs here and now look at the three hour charts as well see uh, 103 dollar levels now a stronger resistance for crude oil if you see it trading above 103 then one can go long for 103.5 and beyond 103.504 if it breaks 104 nothing will stop it to rally and this is going to rise strongly on the upside but at the same time one must not forget that it is trying to create lower highs higher uh, lower highs higher lows indicating a possible consolidation and a breakout is awaited soon and uh, stochastic not showing any sign there rsi is still on sell and macd is still on sell rsi near to comfort level look at the 4 hour chart similarly lower highs consistently higher lows consistently now it is awaiting a breakout so both on 4 hour charts 3 hour charts we are looking for a breakout so yes one can go long above 103 and one can go short below 101.5 that is what is the expectation here 4 hour stochastic near to oversold macd is still on sell rsi not any showing any sign here and look at the daily chart similarly on the daily charts lower highs higher lows indicating a breakout now yes this zone if you look at closely 103 as i said one can go long 101.5 is definitely a stronger support and in between this we have to trade with caution so once the next candle starts i'll be watchful if you see it trading beyond 103 then 104 levels are going to 103.5 and 104 these two levels are going to remain very important resistance and if you see it trading beyond 105 there is nothing like it remain long it is a strong breakout which we all are waiting and probably we may see it rising till towards 106 and beyond levels so yes take your positions accordingly go long above 103 where the targets are 103.5 104 105 106 and beyond that sky is the limit this is the breakout and oil will be in rally soon you can expect that it is the breakout we all were looking and we may expect 110 115 118 dollars in coming days on the downside if you see it trading below 101.5 you can go short 100 dollar levels nevertheless a very strong support breaking this it will directly land till towards 98 97 zone and then 94 95 zone these are going to be a very strong support zone for crude oil for any further fall so yes a breakout is awaited possibly today we might see it because a lot much of data is awaited tonight and with this we may see a breakout which we all are expecting oil may rally or break let's have a look just trade with the position short below 101.5 long above 103 trade with a stop loss don't put your stop loss at so far that you can uh, risk your capital always shift your capital always shift your stop loss to your cost once you see your trade is in profit so this is all from my side for crude oil and energy don't forget to like share subscribe and comment and uh, yes if you also want to learn the same strategy join 
my mentorship batch the next batch is starting on 9th of may book your seat soon only few seats left and also you can be part of my vip signals group reach out to me via telegram or email for details my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you